Hi guys, welcome to today's Battle of the Foundation. Well, today we're going to be trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. So if you want to see my thoughts on it, you are in the right place. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button along with the bell notification next to it. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So again, if you want to see how this foundation performs, just keep watching. Alright guys, again today we are trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Now this comes in 24 shades, you get one fluid ounce. It retails for $7.99, but I did find it at Walmart for $5.49 for you. Now this is supposed to be good for normal to dry skin. So if you are on the oily side, this is probably not the right one for you. They do have a matte version of this as well. So let's go ahead and read the claims on this one. It says, get smooth, hydrated, and even skin tone with Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Formulated to deliver hydrated and smooth skin with a natural luminous finish. Also, this foundation makeup has the added benefit of sun protection SPF 18. The end result is beautiful, dewy, and smooth skin with a shade that fits you. Dermological, dermalogic tested, allergy tested, non metagenic and fragrance free. So um, it's supposed to leave your skin dewy, so it's not going to be a matte foundation, a luminous finish. Again, there's the dewy part. And if you have oily skin, you're probably not going to like this. But my skin is on the normal to dry side, so this probably would be a great one for me. So as always, I've gone in and I have primed and I have under eye color corrected. So we're ready to go. I will do my normal one side of my face with a sponge and the other side with my Morphe Y6 flat top kabuki brush. Oops, I was expecting to pull this off. So it's a turd. There's no pump on this one. And ooh. Ooh, that looks a little dark for me. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this might be a little dark, so I'll just try and take it down my neck. So I hate these kind of bottles. Ooh, you know what? I get my hair out of the way so I don't get foundation in it. Okay, does anybody else have fall yet? I'm still waiting. I think we're supposed to finally get rain. Well, by the time you see this, oh, this is dark. Um, by the time you see this, it's Thursday, so I think we probably have rain today, or at least we were supposed to get that. So I'm hoping that's the case because we've still been in the upper 70s and we were 81 the day before yesterday. Okay, this is definitely a lightweight finish to or feeling to it I should say. And it's definitely dewy. Hopefully it's buildable because it's definitely not full coverage with just that one coat. So let's go in and try the other side. And we'll use the brush on that. I can already tell I'm getting better coverage with this side. All right, let's look in the mirror, see what we got going on here. So I still have a lot of my discolorations coming through on this side, and actually still quite a bit coming through on this side as well. So let's go in with layer number two. I'm going to use the brush though, and I'm only gonna put it in this area of my face. I don't think my forehead needs any more.
I made a de mess on my desk already. From all the little drops. Color isn't too bad now that I've got it all blended out. And that's definitely giving a lot better coverage. I still wouldn't say full coverage on this. Probably like a high medium with the second coat on. It's not sticking very well to my nose. Like that. Just try my fingertips on my nose. Tap that in. I've been doing that a lot more um, just on my own time. You know, when I'm doing my foundation for myself, if I have an area that is just not sticking very well, I've been going in with my fingers and just kind of tapping that in. All right, I'm going to see how well this dries down. So let me put you on hold here for just a second and I will be right back. All right, it's been five minutes and I gave it a chance to dry down. I actually went and went and sat in front of a little fan so that could kind of help speed that up. It's not completely drying down, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah, I would definitely want to powder this one, at least the way it is feeling on my skin today. So I am going to go ahead and take some photos of it without the concealer and the powder on. I'll apply my concealer and powder, powder, take some more photos, and finish up my makeup, and I will be back again. All right guys, I am back and this is the finished look now that I have all my makeup completed. Now I have to say at first I was a little nervous about this foundation because um, before I went in and powdered, it was really settling into these lines. It's doing okay on my forehead, but a little bit more than normal with some other foundations. But once I powdered it, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So the one concern is if you're not going to be using some powder, watch out for this settling into your lines. So um, by the way, with my powder today, I went in and I've really been, I've fallen in love with this. It's the Joa Self, Selfie Ready Setting Powder and I have the translucent one. This stuff is so finely milled that it just, it just like makes your skin look airbrushed so it does such a beautiful job and it's not a heavy one it doesn't look powdery ever now watch if i take this lid off it's probably going to just kind of poof out of there do you see that cloud that comes out that happens every time and you need just <laughs> the tiniest bit of it um to put on your skin because a little bit goes a very long ways so, um, yeah, I'm all about this. The color ended up being a good shade match for me. Um, I think it's pretty. I think it's really pretty. I will leave some comments down below letting you know how this wore. Normally, I try and use a foundation at least once or twice before I film my videos. I just didn't get a chance to do that with this one because I picked it up yesterday. And I didn't have any other new foundations because those two foundations are still missing. Haven't found them yet. I think I just have to write it off and I'll have to go buy them again. So I don't know if they accidentally got tossed or what. So anyway, yeah, it's an oldie, it's a goodie, but you guys, it's a good one. So I do recommend that one for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll be not notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoy my foundation videos, please give this a thumbs up. And if there's any foundations you would like for me to try, I have over 60 in my playlist, so you might want to check there and see if I've already done a review on it. But if there's something, please let me know. I love hearing from you guys. So until next time, I love you all, and bye-bye.